Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our English class. Let's wait. Uh, who else join us today? Hello, everyone. It's way that we can start. So, well, that's actually the time. So, it's a great opportunity to begin our class today. And uh, we're going to expect to, you know, learn, you know, to practice. Welcome to Hector, Jenny, and Veronica Lisset Marroquin. Okay, some students are joining right now to our English class, and uh, we hope to have a great time today, that we are capable to practice English and study, to reinforce different content, like we have the opportunity that every day we have to show that we are learning a lot and we are doing something interesting for our English class. Every day we have the opportunity to study, to work, and practice, every day. With expressions or phrases or quotes, we need to make a difference. Uh, in our country, we have the opportunity to study, and uh, many people practice English. And but you had to make a difference, right? You had to like study hard, work a lot through English. So before we start, I want to ask you and um, what we studied yesterday. What we studied? What do you remember? We started in the class, so activate the microphone and have the freedom to share your answers right here in the class. What we started yesterday's class. Yes, hello? Well, well, like. Okay. And when do we use would like? Or when we, when do we use would? What do you remember? Yes? When, yes. when I, I want. When I quiero algo or when. Yo me recuerdo que es un verbo modal que le ayuda a cualquier otro verbo a terminar. Día. Por ejemplo, would you like, gustaría, uh, would you eat, comería, o would you drink, bebería. Ok, thank you so much. Nice. I really appreciate it. That, that was very interesting. Because, yeah, we were talking about um, some things uh, that we want, right? Uh, remember that we said that uh, we ex expressed desire, right? When, when we express desire, cuando expresamos un deseo, when we want something, but at the same time, when we request something, cuando requerimos algo, or when we ask for something. Or we, as you said, as we, we use as invitation. And some of you, wrote some sentences about these roles. Hicimos algunos ejercicios, we wrote some examples, and they were very, very clear and about something, right? We, we were like talking about invitations, when people want to do something, we just feel really, really uh, excited about that. And, uh, and also wood has different rules too, have other rules, like we use for, um, Negative for, for example, for the past of a uh, will. I would, but as a probability, como una probabilidad en el pasado, and also como un, como un modal verb, cuando nosotros solicitamos algo y estamos, oh, this one, this one. 
but we were talking about these roles. And today we are going to have a short backup about the, our next topic because we are like having some reviews of the contents studied and related to to the topics that are in the platforms. Como ustedes han estado trabajando en la plataforma y esta semana pues nos toca finalizar la cuatro. Ya solo nos queda la próxima semana, imagínense, y terminamos prácticamente parte de este módulo del pre-intermediate. Eh, Súper rápido. Miren cómo pasa el tiempo rápido y así también ustedes. El aprendizaje también tiene que ser bastante importante para ustedes. Entonces, no tenemos que dejar a un lado eh, este proceso. Right? So we need to go on and practice and study and, ask, and participate actively. Es por eso que tenemos que participar en clases. We need to participate because we need to like practice We need to speak, we need to produce the language. What do you know? Eh, y a veces pasa de que tenemos algo o escribimos algo, pero no lo compartimos. Entonces, también eso es una manera como para poder aprender inglés, es practicándolo. When you practice, when you study. Thank you. Nice, Elizabeth, thank you for sharing us. Um, thanks. So, that's why we are going to start today with our class. And also, I hope that we, we will have an opportunity to learn English and practice. So let's go. So we're going to talk about the following topic. Tell me about your family. As you know, we're going to study some uh, important vocabulary and about family. So for that reason, we're going to start. And this is our video conference. Look at this one. We have the general objective about this class. And I will ask to um, Dalila, Beatriz, can you help me to read the general objective, please? By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to describe their family. They will share on the tales of a a one each one each one each one that's perfect okay so we're, we will talk about our families we will talk about our families about our relatives and also we have some general words in english for example i ask you how do you say in english uh, let's go on with this one And let me check. I need to move to the next slide. Let's go on in this part. Okay, introducing uh, introducing your uh, self. Uh, describe your family. Sorry. Okay, much better. So what I'm going to do is this one. It's much better for me to do this. Okay, uh, talking about family. For example, how do you say in English? How do you say in English? Eh, padres, how do you say padres in English? Grandparents. Parents. Okay, so we say parents. 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 Okay, for example, how do you say eh, hermanos in English? Brothers. Pero si son hermanos y hermanas. Sister and brothers. Mm, es una sola. It's one, it's just one word. Eh, para decir, para decir eh, un poquito acerca de, de hermanos, usted va a decir en inglés siblings. Siblings, when we talk about brothers and sisters. Look at this. So we would say in uh, siblings. Look at this. Okay, let's check this. Vamos a ver. Okay, um, also we have, for example, in some relatives, right? Parents, siblings, you know, and also some relatives. Eh, familiares en inglés sería? Familiares. 
familiares, relatives. Look at this. So this basic vocabulary, because people say, you know, my father and mother. So instead of that, you can say my parents. Oh, this is the same case when you're talking about grandfather and grandmother. You say grandparents, grandparents. For example, when we're talking about uh, when we're talking about father, half brother, half sister, half father, um, how do you say uh, padrasto, for example? Uh, how do you say padrastro? Stepfather. Stepfather. Yes. Y todos los parentescos que vayan como madre, stepmother, hermanastro, stepbrother, hermanastra, stepsister, y, y siempre van a llevar ese step para referirnos a eh, padrastro, madrastro, hermanastro, hijastro. No, es, yeah, so we can use this one. Right, basic expressions in vocabulary in English. It's practice about basic vocabulary. For example, how do you say in English, eh, sobrino? Cousin. No. Nephew. 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 How do you say eh, sobrina? Niece. Child. Niece. Yeah, that's correct. How do you say prima? Cousin. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So we have uh, cousin. How do you say tia? Aunt. Aunt. Yes. How do you say tío? Uncle. 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 That's right. How do you say padrino in English? Good father. What? Good father. Good father. Uh -huh. Exactly. So we can we can actually uh, talk about family, and also we we just I have this page. Let's check this. God Godfather. And that is the same case with uh, Godmother. Look at this. Okay, so we have some, some uh, vocabulary related to relatives. Okay, so let's continue with the next activity. And we have this one, I'm sorry, let's see. Okay, describe your family. So what I want you to do is to, in a short way, you will describe your family. For example, I live with, I live with my brother or I live with my, my sister, I live with my, you can say spouse, para referirse a esposo o esposa, wife or husband, or I live with my, my sons and daughters. So describe a little bit about your family. El punto es que usted va a hablar un poquito acerca de su familia. Yo les voy a dar unos minutitos para que se tome algunas ideas y nos hable un poquito acerca de su familia. Well, they are very friendly, they are very happy family. We have a good time together, we go to the park, we go to church every day. We have a good time together. So you will talk about your family. Eh, la pregunta es, ¿con quién vives en inglés? Eh, la pregunta sería, um, who do you live with? Who do you live with? Cuando le preguntan, who do you live with? Están preguntando, ¿con quién vives? So you can say, you know, I live with my father, I live with my mother, my brother, my sister. So you talk about your family. So I will give you uh, 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 five minutes to write your ideas. And after that, we will work in the breakup rooms and we will socialize uh, some special details that we would like to share about our family. I live with my brother, my sister, my grandmother, with my mom, with my father, or I just uh, live with them. Well, they are very great people. I love them and 
we always live together. We just have a good time to watch TV. We go to church together and also we love sports. And sometimes we watch some soccer games on TV and we really enjoy a special time together. So, nos voy a hablar un poquito acerca de su mismo, right? This is what we had to do. Entonces, yo le voy a dar un momentito para que usted vaya tomando algunas ideas, eh, vaya tomando nota eh, para que luego compartir en los grupos. Si tienen alguna pregunta, ustedes pues, me dicen, teacher, how do you say this in English? Uh, what's the meaning about this word? How can I write this word? So, let's start. Iniciamos.
Are you ready? Yes? Are you ready, students? Ready? Almost? Hello? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, yes. yes teacher. Excellent. Okay, so let's make the breakup rooms and you will share it with your partners about, you know, your family. Let's see. So you can say names. My father's name is this. My brother's name is this. My uncle's name is my aunt's name, my nephew's name. So you can share some uh, valuable details. We are 17. So let's see. See how many members. Okay, we will work with five groups. So let's click on this. We will create them and we can start right now. Iniciamos y a compartir su información in the breakout rooms. Remember, speak English. Let's go. Okay. Uh, yeah, only. Hola. Hola. Um, Elizabeth, uh, who do you live with? Hi, guys. Uh, I live with my husband and two children. Um, where I... I also live with my mother in Sonsonate and the pet and is now chair though. Yeah. Your, your name is Mosso. Ya dijeron todo. 
Sí. No, sí. Falta, no, falta, falta oh, Miguel. Falta Ajá. Miguel. Ahora creo que Elizabeth le puede hacer la pregunta ahí a Miguel. Ah, va. Miguel. Miguel, what do you live with? Where do you live? Where do you live with? I will, I will live with my... La pregunta era, este, ¿con quién vivo? ¿Con quién, ¿Con quién vives? Ah, sí. Ajá. I, I, I live with, with my family. Uh, we are um, five members. There are my parents and my siblings. Uh, two boys and two girls. Yeah. Their, their name are Mireya, Mario, Ana, and Jose. And we are three pets, three dogs, and two cats. Two cats. And my other uh, family lives uh, far away. For example, my aunt live uh, in other city. Um, both me live in other country. Uh, that's it. Um, did you finish the participation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we will go back uh, to the main session. Okay. Hello. Hello. Eh, yo quisiera si se lo voy a decir en español porque como es difícil a veces decírselo en inglés. Okay. Que si hay alguna palabra que haya dicho mal que me corrija. O si, si usted escuchó que que este cómo les era no se pronuncia no pronuncié bien alguna palabra que me lo diga o cómo es el orden de algunas cosas. Este, yo tengo mis hijas que ellas sí son bilingües y pues a mí me está costando un poco. Y este, a veces me dicen, pero si ellas pueden, son full English, ¿por qué no le ayuda? Pero como cada quien este, es bien independiente de todo, ¿verdad? Entonces, a mí me está costando un poco. Bueno, ellas porque como lo aprendieron desde pequeña, ¿verdad? Cuando estaban estudiando, entonces se les ha hecho más fácil como este, el, el aprenderlo. Sí, a mí sí me... Como que se, sí, sí se me dificulta un poquito, pero ahí voy echándole gana. Ya, yeah, that's pero, okay. Ya, yeah, that, that's okay. Uh -huh. Es un proceso. Creo que, claro, cuando pues, estudias de pequeño es mucho más práctico. Y acuérdense que pues, los niños aprenden súper rápido el idioma. Y no solo uh -huh. uno, pueden aprender dos o tres pues, simultáneos y los aprenden. Tienen uh -huh. esa ventaja. Así que, en cambio, el ritmo ya de adulto pues es, es paso a paso y pues practicando todos los días ayuda muchísimo, créanme que pues es bastante importante, así que don't stop, continue, ahí en cada clase. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. 
Okay, um, let's practice with the following part of this. Okay, we're gonna talk about our family. So what I want you to do is to try to answer the following exercise. And you have to select what is the, uh, the relationship in this statement. For example, your brother's wife is your mother's. Think about it. Your brother's wife is your mother's. Song. Let's, yeah, let's, yeah, definitely, let's check yeah. that. En este caso, pues ahí, así es, en este caso, dice que el hermano de tu esposa, en este caso, es the daughters in love. Le voy a escribir acá. And, vamos a ver. Daughter in love. Look at this one. So the, the answer would be this one. The daughter, in this case, the daughter in love. Look at that. Daughter in so, love. Daughter in love. That's right. So is that would be daughter in love? Okay, look at the next one. Your sister's daughter is your la hija de tu hermana es tu. Number two. Sobrina. In English? Uh -huh. Sobrina. Niece. 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 Yes, it's niece. 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 That's correct. Niece. So it's niece. Yes. Niece. Uh, yes. And uh, let's continue with the next one. If you and your sister were born on the same day, then you are. Twins? Exactly. That's correct. Twins. Okay. Yes. Look at the chat because you can see that. Sure. Tell me. What what is twins? Twins. 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 Gemelos. Gemelos. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. Okay. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos para que me ayuden a responderlo. Porque también quiero que lo hagan. Eh, Quiero que ustedes lo hagan a su estilo, a su direction, right? Let's see. Um, I will give you some minutes and then we will answer together. Let's go.
Okay, let's let's continue. Let's continue with the next one. And uh, we were saying that uh, if your sister were born on the same day, the next one will be the number four. Look at this one. Um, a male who has one or or both parents in common with the other is a brother. A brother. Yes, correct. It's a brother. Uh, in the chat, you can see the answer. Number five, your mother's sister is your? Aunt. Aunt, aunt. yes, correct. Oh, aunt. Aunt, yeah, that was saying in Spanish, la tia. La tia, so we're saying that. That's correct. Look at the next one. Uh, we're talking about the number six. If you were born on the same day uh, with your brother, he's your? Twins? Yeah, your mm -hmm. twin brother. Teacher. Yes. I believe in the number three is not twins because it's a sister. Yes, but are twins because they were born on the same day. No, pero en la tres pienso que por ser un, pienso yo que sea un hombre y una mujer, en español, por ejemplo, ya no serían gemelos, sino que serían mellizos. Ah, yeah. In this case, because the number three is like focus in, in females, in women. Yeah. If, if we, the number three will be related to, to men, definitely that will be um, twins. But in this case, it doesn't affect, yeah, mellizos. Y mellizos, ¿cómo se dice? So actually, it has a, a, an a special, an special meaning about in English. So okay. you can say, for example, uh, I will write it here in the chat, but also you can say twins too, it's the same meaning. Um, o sea, tanto para, para hombres, para mujeres, es lo mismo. Okay. So that's why the reason is twins, right? The number six is uh, the same day. He's your uh, twin brother. Number seven, a female who has one or both parents in common with the other is a? Sister. Num sister. Yes, excellent. Excellent, sister. It's simple, it's sister. Number eight, a person connected with another by blood or relationship by marriage is a? Esa palabra la pusimos en el, la, la escribimos al inicio. Is the father or is the mother? Oh, in this case, it doesn't it doesn't mention like like a chronological order. So in this case, the answer is relatives. Remember that a relative is we say in Spanish is un familiar. Puede estar conectado a través de sangre, a través de relación, eh, de familiar, de parentesco. Entonces es a relative. Okay, number nine. Your brother's wife is your. Sister in law. Excellent. Yes, sister in law. Great job. Number 10. 
your mother's brother is your um, uncle. 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 Yes, uncle. El tío is uncle. Number 11. Your mother's sister's children are your cousins. Yes, perfect. Cousins. Los primos. Cousins. And we go on with the number, the next one. Okay, let's continue with the next one. We're talking about uh, number 12. Uh, a father, a synonym for father. A synonym for daddy. 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 Dad. daddy or dad, dad too, dad. Daddy, yes. Number thirteen. Uh, your parents' parents are your easy. This is easy. Grandparents. Grandparents. Yes. Grandparents. Yeah, we're talking about grandparents. Your parents' parents are your grandparents. Los papás de tus papás son tus abuelos, right? And number 14, your parents, yeah, sorry, 15. Oh, 14, by the way. Your parents' parents' parents are your... Your parents' parents' parents are your... Well, this is very challenging. Check this. What this could be? I don't know. Bisabuela. Do you say bisabuela? Bisabuelo, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Yeah, you're very close. Yeah, you're very close. And what this could be? By the way, uh, some students have some problems with uh, connecting to the class because they said that the internet connection is like no so good. So that's why they are experiencing some internet problems. Okay, what would be this one? Bisabuela, how do you say? Bisabuelos. Bisabuelos. Look at the chat. Yes. The answer is great grandparents. Great grandparents. Great grandparents. Great -grandparents. Los tatara abuelos, right? So you're talking about the great grandparents. So this is uh, the name of that. Uh, your brother's son is your nephew. Exactly. Nephew. Nephew. Yes. Nephew. That's correct. Nephew. And uh, mother, a synonym for mother. Mommy. Mom. Mom. Another one. Mommy. 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 Yes. And mother. Yes, that's correct. Wow. Congratulations. You could answer this um, challenge about relatives. So you know the sequence, the family tree. And also you could learn vocabulary that were very valuable for this one. Let's continue with the next one um, that we share here about family. Okay, fill the correct family member. This is actually, it's pretty simple. My mother's sister is mine. My daughter brother's is mine. So take a short time to check this uh, family three or this order, and then we share together. Um, take a time.
Okay, let's see the, the answers. Ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's try. We have the first one and it says, let me see. Let me share with you this. Uh, hmm. Okay, focus in the chat. My mother's sisters is mine. Aunt. 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 Okay. Aunt. That's right. It's my aunt. Definitely it is. All right. Cool. Uh, number two. Song? Yes. Song. Yeah, is this is my is this my son, right? My daughter's brother is my son. Yes. Correct. You, you know the, the order, right? That's uh, definitely fantastic. Look at the number three. Three, three. My father's daughter is mine. What's that? Sister. Sister, right? Sister. Sister. Yes. Okay, check this. That's correct. What about the number four? We are saying that uh, parents, parents, you know parents. what? Parents. Brothers, parents. sisters. Parents. Okay, parents. my mom and dad are my parents. For example, you can say like M-U-M -M is like mom. This is used in England. Uh, British people use this word mom. In, in, in America, we use mom with M-O-M, -M, but uh, British people, they say mom, like mommy, mom, more British. Um, so in this case, we say that the number four is parents. My parents. Or ya no va a decir usted, ah, they are my father and mother. No, they are my parents. So it's like much better. My sister's son okay. is mine. Nephew. 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 That's right. And by the way, this is the correct pronunciation because we're talking about nephew. Yeah, we're talking about nephew. And also we have the number six. Um, my aunt's son or daughter is mine. Oh. Oh, that's cousin. correct cousin so remember that in english uh for for male and female we use cousin i mean uh, for um men, yeah. men and woman so we say cousin it's general for both yes and also we have uh, the number next number seven right yeah. my father's brother is mine uncle uncle, uncle. 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 it's uncle. uncle uncle yes that's correct and we go on with the next one that will be number eight grandfather Yes, we're talking about grandfather. A another way to say grandfather in a synonym. You can say grandpa or grandfather. It's yeah. like, okay. yes. And de una forma como cariñosa, right? So you say grandpa. Oh, it's my grandpa. Mm -hmm. So you can say grandfather. So the most appropriate will be grandfather. So you say grandpa. Is this is like when we say da daddy or dad is like you know we're talking about father. Let's check the next one that will be number nine, right? 
Uh, my daughter's son is mine. ¿Cómo se dice nieto? Granddaughter. But it says my daughter's son. Yes. No. What? Hijo de mi hijo. No, because daughter no. is different to daughter son. Hija, de hija de mi hijo. Es nieta, pero en inglés. Nieta. No, no. it's the opposite. Nieto. Mm -hmm. Nieto. How do you say nieto in English? Look at the chat. Grandson. Grandson. And how do you say nietos in English? So you will say in English, grandchildren. 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 The family it tree. Means, yeah, granddaughter. Yes, for 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 women or girls, we say granddaughter. In este caso, el hijo de mi hija es mi nieto. So that's why it says. Mm -hmm. And also the number 10, the last one. My brother's daughter is mine. Niece. Yes. Look at the chat. Niece. niece. That's correct. So you can see here that we are actually following the, the order about family. So it's very interesting because we know we are thinking about cuál es la relación, cuál es el parentesco. So we are like trying to get that. So you can see that we have practiced today in the class a special vocabulary related to family. So I hope that um, we complete the exercises in the platform about family. So this is like something important. Um, I don't know if you have an equation or doubt before we finish the class or everything is clear for now. Y no, y no se les olvide ir eh, completando los ejercicios de la parte 4 de, de esta unidad 4 que hemos estudiado la plataforma para quedarnos la próxima semana. Con la número 5, entonces, pues, eh, culminaríamos parte de este módulo. Eh, así que eh, completemos los ejercicios de esta lección 4 que, que tenemos para esta semana. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, thank you. okay guys, thank, thank you so much. Okay. Have a beautiful night Bye. to all of you. Bye. Bye. You too. Bye. Thank you, you too. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night, you too. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.